everyone, welcome back to Style Novice. A lot of you seem to be really enjoying my most recent step-by-step -step sewing videos. What I didn't kind of realise as I've been making all these sewing projects is that in the corner, in a cupboard, my fabric collection has been getting slowly way out of control. I have so much fabric left over and it's not even all the same kind of fabric. It's different textures, it's different weights, it's different colours. Nothing that I can kind of piece together into one project and make use of. So I thought I would start a bit of a new playlist of fun and quick projects that you can make with scrap fabrics left over. Today's one we're going to be starting with a business card or money card holder. Let's jump straight into what you'll need. So to make your money card holder you're going to need both an interior and exterior piece of cotton sized 6 inches by 4 and 3 eighths of an inch. You're also going to need two cotton pockets sized 2.5 inches by 4 and 3 eighths of an inch. Materials wise you're going to need an iron and ironing surface, a measuring tape in inches, sewing pins, a hand sewing needle, fabric scissors, your cotton and bobbin thread, a hair tie or round coloured elastic, a button and of course your sewing machine. Step 1 is creating your pockets. On both pocket pieces fold a seam 3 eighths of an inch wide along one long edge and iron flat. Sew these seams as close to the open edge as possible on each pocket piece. Step 2 is layering your pattern pieces, lay your exterior piece good side facing up and next lay your pockets good side facing down. Lastly lay your interior piece good side facing down. Step 3 is to sew all these layers together, pin through each pocket and one through the centre. Take another two pins and mark a small gap along one short edge large enough to turn the fabric the right way out again later. Next stitch using a quarter inch seam allowance from one pin around the entire outer edge to the other, back stitching at each end. A quarter inch allowance is generally the width of your sewing machine footer. Step 4 is turning the fabric out so the pins can now be removed and you want to first trim each corner to remove any excess bulk. Using that small gap you left earlier turn your holder the right way out and press well. Step 5 we're going to attach our elastic and do our top stitching. So using the small gap in one end of your holder slip in your hair tie or elastic leaving enough of a loop outside of your holder that when folded closed can reach over the fold to attach over your button. Next you want to top stitch around the entire outside of your holder back stitching a couple of times as you pass over the elastic for extra security. Sew as close to the outside edge as possible to ensure the cards are still able to fit snugly inside. And optional is to stitch the middle line between the two pockets. Step 6 we're going to attach our button. You want to fold your holder in half and pull your elastic up over the fold to establish where your button needs placing. Hand stitch your button in place coming up from the inside of the pocket beneath. And congratulations, your business card or money card holder should now be complete. So that's it for today's step-by-step -step scrap fabric project that's really hard to get out all in one sentence. Uh, if you'd like to purchase the written and photo step-by-step -step instructions for this project you can head along to my Etsy store linked below. Otherwise I'll see you next sewing video.